Dear Diary, this global panoramic is really taking a toll on me. I miss hanging out with my friends, my family, but most of all, I miss thrift shopping. What could I do to give myself the thrill of thrift shopping while I'm at home? Well, Mariel, maybe you can do a video on how to style thrifty clothes. Did, did my diary just talk to me? What the f***? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mariel and this is Dress Relief and today I'm going to show you how I style thrifted clothes. So I'm going to be taking some items that I find commonly at thrift stores. So today I'm going to show how to style a flannel or button down shirt, blazers, sweaters, or I guess these apply to sweatshirts as well, and how to style t-shirts. If there's anything else that you find commonly at thrift stores that you want me to show how to style, then let me know in the comments below and maybe I can do a part two on this video. Otherwise, follow me on Instagram at the Dress Relief and on TikTok at Dress Relief for more fashion inspiration and outfit ideas. And let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you how to style is a button-down shirt, which I feel like you can always find in the men's section of the thrift store. So I have on this oversized men's white button-down shirt, and the first way I would style it is by layering on a waistcoat or vest over it, which makes me feel like the main character of a Disney Channel show because you know how they'd be with all that layering. But I'm hoping with this simple color scheme, it looks a little more chic and a little less Disney Channel. I paired it with some sleek leather pants and my Doc Martin chunky platform boots. Another way I'd style it is instead of a waistcoat style vest, a sweater vest, which I'm sure you've all seen and loved since its rise in popularity in 2020. Inserting old footage of an old sweater vest outfit since I've definitely worn this a lot in my previous videos. This is a very cute, preppy, and dark academia-esque outfit, and I'm pretty sure it's here to stay for a little while longer, and if you're into dark academia, it's just a classic timeless piece. For this next look, since baggy jeans are very popular right now, I think you can wear an oversized button down with baggy jeans. But as a petite person, oversized on top of oversized can look a little frumpy. So what I've done is added two safety pins on each side of my waist and then threaded a ribbon through each safety pin and tied it in the back to cinch in the waist. I think it makes it look slightly less frumpy and a little more feminine. And then on top, I would also throw on a crop jacket. And of course, another way to deal with the oversizedness of the shirt is to tie it into a crop top. Um, here I tucked in the little knot, but you can also leave it untucked and just leave the knot hanging out. But it's just personal preference and I think it looks cute either way. Okay, next I have this plaid oversized men's button-down shirt. And one obvious way to wear it is with a crop top and some jeans, which I am wearing right now. But another way you could style it is with a harness. So I think adding a harness or some cool hardware like this is a fun and edgy way to spice up a plain old flannel. And super versatile, I think you could style this harness thing with a bunch of other different items of clothing. So. It might be a fun thing to invest in if you are into this kind of edgy style. Okay, so here is the look with the harness and a flannel shirt, and I just kept the same jeans and sneakers on. Okay, so if your oversized button-down shirt is long enough to cover your no-no area, then you can also wear it as a dress. And one way I've done this in the past is by layering another mesh dress over it. And that was a very cute look, which I will insert here. But another way you could wear it is by layering a blazer over it and belting the blazer at the waist. And that kills two birds with one stone since my next section is talking about how to style blazers you get from the thrift store. So I have this green blazer that I bought secondhand and put on a black belt over it and matched the black belt with some black little lace up booties. So 
So another way to wear a blazer is with a long dress or a skirt. And again, I like to belt it, which gives it more of a Dior inspired vibe. And I think this look is very versatile. You can play around with the different styles or colors of blazers and different dresses. So this is a look I would definitely wear a lot. Again, I have my green blazer on and this time paired it with this floral midi skirt. And again, my lace up block heeled boots. And that's pretty much it. You can also wear it with a shorter dress or skirt as I showed earlier with the button down shirt worn as a dress. And I also like to belt it that way as well, but it also looks cute unbelted. Um, just really depends on the dress. Another way to wear a blazer is with a turtleneck, which I have done a lot in my previous videos, so I'm just inserting footage again. And this is definitely one of my go-to looks. It always looks good and classy and nice, and it definitely works well with the dark academia aesthetic if that's your thing. But you can also wear a blazer with a casual top or a t-shirt like so. I have on this t-shirt tucked into some straight leg jeans and again my lace-up boots. And then with the t-shirt, I like just layering the jacket over my shoulders. I just like the look of it. I feel like it looks really cute and classy. And this outfit also kills two birds with one stone because next I'm going to talk about how to style t-shirts. So one of my style t-shirts is with a turtleneck underneath and here I am wearing it with a long midi skirt and I thought this look was pretty cute. I bought this t-shirt cropped already but you can also easily do that yourself if you get a shirt of regular length. Or you can just layer a regular long sleeve shirt underneath. I really like how striped long sleeve shirts look under a t-shirt paired with some edgy accessories and maybe some black ripped jeans or something like that. I love the grungy, edgy look. Another way I would style a t-shirt is by tying it into a knot as we've all seen before or just twisting it and tucking it up into your bra to make it look like a crop top. Now I did not thrift this t-shirt because I don't really tend to look for t-shirts when I go to a thrift store or in general really. I just I'm just not a big t-shirt person, but I know there are plenty of t-shirts at the thrift store, so don't come for me. So here I wore this t-shirt tucked into my bra with some straight leg jeans and my black lace up heel boots again. And another thing you can do is add on that harness that I wore earlier and edge up the look a little bit. Another way to style a t-shirt is to wear a button-down shirt underneath, which as we talked about earlier can also be thrifted. And I took that into a mini skirt, but this could also work with some trousers as well. And I pair that with my platform combat boots again. So this is a very 90s grunge outfit, um, especially with the plaid pattern on my mini skirt. Finally, another way to wear a t-shirt is by layering a cami top over it or a cami sole dress over it. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I have this teal bodysuit over my Guns N' Roses t-shirt. But you can start simple with just a plain t-shirt and a plain cami sole, maybe just like white and black. Um, that's always a classic look. But this is a very versatile look. You can play around with different colors and patterns, dresses versus just the top tucked into jeans or a dress tucked into jeans pretending to be a top. Um, there's a lot you can do with this. Next, I'm going to talk about how to style sweaters, which will also work for Kudex sweatshirts as well. And so I have this pink 100% cashmere beauty that I got for $3 at the thrift store. And one way to style it is by wearing a collared shirt or turtleneck underneath it. And I trust that most of you have seen this already because this has been such a popular look in the past year and I've worn it a lot on my channel as well. But I think sweaters are very straightforward. Another way I would wear it is by tying it around my shoulders like so. And again, it's a very common, obvious way to wear it. Uh, I also like how people wear it under one arm and over only one shoulder and tie it like this. 
I think that's more of a casual streetwear kind of way to wear it. And the last way to wear a sweater, which I don't think really works with this sweater, so I can't really show it. But if you have a sweater vest and a sweater with the same kind of fit, you can literally sweater vest over the sweater and it'll kind of blend in with the sweater and make it look like a color block sweater. So the vest part will be one color and the sleeves will be another color. So it's kind of like creating a little Frankenstein color block sweater and it gives a little extra layer of warmth. So that's a perfect look for the winter. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this gave you some inspiration and ideas for your thrifted clothes. And if there's anything else you want me to cover or any other video ideas you have, let me know in the comments. And of course, follow me on Instagram at the Dress Relief and on TikTok at Dress Relief. And I will see you guys next week.